Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the strongest card combos for using in Clash Royale after the recent balance update, and that of course is Fisherman Sparky, guys. Fisherman Sparky is absolutely insane right now. Like I said, one of the strongest card combos in Clash Royale. These two decks in particular have been dominating since the balance update. This one right here, guys, 4.3 Abjuluxer, and this one over here... 3.9. Take a look at these card stats right now. In Grand Challenges in past 24 hours, Fisherman is the number one most popular card in the entire game with a whopping 40% use rate. It also has the single highest win percentage in the entire game. So when you have a card that not only is the most popular in the game, but also has the highest win percentage in the entire game, I would dare say that the Fisherman right now might just be broken, guys. It is, uh, like when you have a card with 40% use rate and that high of win rate, uh, it's absolutely absurd. So, anyways, let's go ahead, guys, jump into our first battle here. I'm hoping they don't emergency nerf the Fisherman, because I think it's a cool card. And, um, it doesn't, like, really feel overly broken, like, yet. I mean, obviously, it's, it's only been three days, so we'll kind of see how it goes. It could just be... Everyone kind of like getting used to how to counter it. Obviously, it has a very unique mechanic. So maybe there's just like a learning period where people have to kind of learn how to counter the Fisherman effectively. Um, but the stats are uh, absolutely absurd, guys. 40% use rate right now in Clash Royale. 60% win rate. And I would dare say that those kind of stats are the kind of stats that typically would be uh, considered... Emergency nerf worthy now. Like I said, I hope they don't but I'm just saying that I would not be surprised if they did No The infernal dragon What do you guys think he has? If you go this that should kill the infernal D right if you got pack I'm gonna be very sad Are you freaking kidding me? I said that jokingly dude. That was a joke. It wasn't meant to be serious. That was not serious. A DP here should take care of the P.E.K.K.A. Without zero damage to the DP. Nice, there we go. So P.E.K.K.A. Infernal Tower. We're going to be very, very tough uh, to deal with that E-Wizard and Zap for my Sparky. He's got some pretty good jazz in this battle here, guys. Sparky here. Where's your Zap? There it is. Have this. Sparky shoot. Nice. Kill the witch, please. So it's going to be a, I suspect, a pretty big stalemate throughout this the majority of this battle. I can't go Goblin Giant here. Obviously, he's got that. I mean, I could go Goblin Giant there if I wanted to. Mega Minion here. Yeah. That's why I didn't go Goblin Giant too aggressively yet. Was because of that stuff. How about this? Yes. Let's go, baby. The wizard's dead. Sparky here, please. We top kind of getting anything set up here. We can go lightning spell here, though, eh? Should have got the uh, what do you call it in there? What you got, dude? What you got? Holy fisherman over. Nice. Sparky gets blasted. And then we're gonna go DP here for that Pekka. Now his Pekka is out of rotation. So if I get a GG here with a Mega here, we can potentially lightning spell something here. Snowball this jazz. That's not snowball Shane. But we do get some good work done with the GG right there, boys. Dark Prince one shot, please make a minion one shot, and he's gonna die right here. I'm okay with that, though. We got some good damage done with that Goblin Giant right there. And now we could potentially Lightning Cycle this dude out. Watch this. You, you, you guys ready for this? Pulls the P.E.K.K.A. over. Sparky blasts the P.E.K.K.A. There we go, baby. That was absurd, dude. Now we're going to get a GG in front here. Get our Lightning Spell ready or a Snowball for the Infernal Tower. Whichever comes faster. Actually, let's just snowball this. We need immediate damage, boys. There we go. 
Hmm. Maybe a bit too overcommittal there, dudes. Actually, left lane. No, not left lane. I was going to say left lane is going to be OP, but it was not OP. It was just very disappointing. There we go. Barbs are dead. Now we can go probably a lightning spell here for this witch. Destroy her. Now we just need one more lightning spell to win here. He was to finish the tower off. Good game. That was literally finesse right there. Uh, barely any damage to either of our towers. Uh, overall, just very, very nasty. Uh, this deck is... Uh, this deck, this card combo, guys, Fisherman, uh, is is really, really good. I have a juicy replay, replay to share with you guys afterwards that uh, showcases uh, the power of the Fisherman Sparky combo. So, let's just go Fisherman here. Three for two, and it forces a response, equalizing the... Yeah, so that's basically four for three now, that Elixir exchange right there. However, we basically lose the, lose the trade because of the uh, sitting there. Now it's gonna be a log uh, furnace deck, which is gonna be pretty nasty to counter here. Log and furnace are pretty OP right now. I suspect it'll be a P.E.K.K.A. Graveyard deck is my guess. If I had to do one guess right now, it'd be P.E.K.K.A. Graveyard. Hmm, Lightning Spell throws some, uh, some doubt right now into my mind. I still think it's P.E.K.K.A. though. If it is Pekka, we're going to die right now. Guaranteed. Is it Pekka? Is it Pekka? Ooh, the mini... Uh, technically, I'm right, guys. Also, technically, guys, that snowball was awesome, just in case you guys didn't know. That was the best snowball you guys have seen in your career. Uh, guaranteed. Don't even question me. Uh, yeah, that was that was a pro-level snowball. There's a reason that I used it at that location, and I, didn't hit, and I did not hit the mini Pekka. I just won't tell you guys, all right? It's a secret that I do not want to share... As to why I went Snowball there and missed the Mini P.E.K.K.A. It's a pro level secret that's way too above your guys' heads. Lightning Spell here. Is that a, a greedy? Yeah, it was pretty greedy, dude. We might regret that Lightning Spell right now. Unless he gives us some Electra back right here. If we can get back to 10, we should be good. But if we do not get back to 10, then... Oh, no, 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 no. Why? Why? RG! Stupid lightning spell. I'm sorry, RG. If I have upset the balance in the universe, I apologize. DP action here on the right. Mega minion as well. Can we lightning spell anything on the right here or no? Yes, right here. Let's get it, baby. Yes, there we go. Sparkinator here. Surprised he decided to go right there with that. Lightning spell here. Oh, we get it. Nice. There we go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. This is going to be GG's here, boys. DP action here. Fisherman to pull the mini P.E.K.K.A. over. No ball this. Yeah. Oh, the Sparky blasted. Nasty. The Fisherman just pulls everything within range of that Sparkinator, guys. He's a beastie boy. RG here, Mega here as well. He's gonna go Furnace and then Mini Pekka. We're gonna Lightning Spell all three of the things that I just mentioned. Right here, babe, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, uh, let's get it, baby, let's get it. RG goes down, uh, pretty solid dub once again. Absolutely just slaughtered. 29 trophies, magical chest as whale. Unlock and Q, and we'll jump in to one more battle over here. So far, it's been, it's been going pretty well. Very impressed with this deck so far, but the biggest question that I have in my mind right now is what kind of deck does Yi, does Yi have? Huh? Yi, have little faith, young one. You must trust the power of the Sparky. All right, so the spark is going in there. He's going to go ahead with a rocket or lightning spell. All right. Hey, my dude, just in case you did not know, ye, uh, arrows lightning does not kill Sparky. All right. Yeah, you probably know now. You probably now know that stuff, but uh, you didn't before. I can guarantee you that much. And I think now ye is dead. I told you guys, ye have little faith. And uh, I think he gave up. <laughs> he gave up. 
<laughs> uh, the fastest three crown in Clash Royale history. Not really. That was clickbait. I apologize. Because the fisherman is legit OP. But it's funny because it doesn't feel OP, right? Like when you're using it in battle, you don't really feel like, oh my god, that card's broken, right? But the, the win rates and the use rates right now are uh, out of the world. Astronomical. They are very, very high. Um, whenever, like, I think the last time I've seen a card that popular was when the Royal Recruits came out. It was like 40% use rate, 60% win rate. So, I, like I said, I, I hope they don't. Because Fisherman is a really, really cool card. However, with that being said, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. But literally every deck right now is using Fisherman. It's, 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 a, it's a bad sign in terms of not getting a nerf when a card is being used by every archetype. You know, like usually those are the scenarios where it's going to get a nerf. Is when it's being used in every archetype in the game. And literally Fisherman is in every deck right now. So I wouldn't be surprised. This is going to suck though. He's got wizard and archers and uh, my hair is falling on my hat. I don't want you guys to see it because he's going to make fun of me. So I, I got to stuff it back in there. Right, last time I did a video with my, with my hair down, uh, everyone got mad. They were like, Shane, your hair looks ridiculous. What are you doing? I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Freaking skeleton barrel behind there, eh? Just a very slow play that I don't like. Where's your archers? Where's your archers? There they go. There they go. Boom. Nice, dude. Oh, the dark prince just destroyed the minifeka. <laughs> nice. Did we get some tower damage? Lightning spell here. Risky and greedy and everything in between. Was it worth? Totally not. I can guarantee you guys right now that was not worth the lightning spell at 60 lexer cost. However, it felt good. And sometimes you just got to do things that feel good, despite the consequences. Right? Is that what they say? Oh, oh. The barbarians. It's got bobs. Oh no. Sir? How dare you use the barbarians? One of these? Pull the, uh, pull the minifigure away. Yes, 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 yes! That was so OP! That was so OP, did you see that? Sparkers gonna kill the barbs too? That was insane! The fisherman pulled the mini P.E.K.K.A. away from the tank, which allowed the Sparky to destroy it. That is exactly why this combo is one of the best combos right now in Clash Royale. Put a tank up front, he goes to counter the tank, the fisherman pulls it away, which allows the Sparky to destroy it instantly. Hands down, the best combo right now in Clash Royale, guys. Legitimately OP, dude. Wow. I'm in love with this new card, this fisherman. That was insane, dude. Wow. GG's, man. GG's. You guys, we are absolutely destroying so far with this deck over here. Four wins in a row. Obviously, there's this version as well, which I haven't played with yet. Um, it has, uh, let's see here. Very similar. It actually has stronger win rates, this one here. Or no, this one. It has stronger win rates. Actually, we'll try it out for one battle. We'll try it out for one battle. We'll see how it goes. We might lose this one, though, because I'm I'm in the groove with the other one. I'm in that groove now, so we're kind of changing it up midstream. It's never a good idea, but we'll kind of see how we do. Even if we lose this battle, guys, I, I promise you it's a good deck. Don't don't take my word for it. It's got a 65% win rate on uh, Royale API. So even if I lose it, it's just uh, just me being a nub. Here's the thing, though, guys. Here's the reason, all right? Because the cool thing is when you have the guards in there, let's say your opponent has a P.E.K.K.A. Normally when they pull the, the fisherman pulls the P.E.K.K.A., um, that stuff happens, right? One of these. Right? Normally when the fisherman pulls the P.E.K.K.A. away, what ends up happening is the P.E.K.K.A. kills your fisherman instantly. But when you have the guards in there, you can pull the P.E.K.K.A. away and then drop guards on its face. And uh, it just destroys, legitimately destroys uh, the thingamajig. The other cool thing with the fisherman is he kind of interrupts charges and jumps. As you saw there. 
So I'm gonna keep it that for sure, man. I just the one thing I wish with the fisherman is I wish he had a star skin. That's that's my one true wish, guys. If I had one wish and a shooting star, it'd be for the fisherman to have a star level skin. Whoa! I didn't even do that unintentional. I just said shooting uh, star because it sounded cool. I didn't even realize that it was like a, a star skin. That was that was cool, man. All right, so that tower's dead. There's no chance. Guard? Oh, yes it is, dude. Watch him just go Mega Knight here and just destroy us. We haven't even had to use the Sparky this entire game. Oh, no, no, no. One of these? We gotta zap this. Dude, that freaking balloon got me. I had nothing to counter the uh, that, that balloon there, guys. That sucked, dude. I hate when that happens. I hate when the balloon just destroys you. Yikes, dude. Yikes. Can we do this? Will that kill it or no? We defended that, which is all right. Mega Knight there. Ghost here. Fisherman here. Musketeer here. Does he have a heavy spell? I can't remember if he does or not. Got this. Probably this. Oh, good game, baby. Good game. Why are you so tired, dude? You should get some more sleep. <laughs> Oh, uh, 31 trophies. Man, we're just destroying with this deck, dude. We seriously don't have a thing unlocked? Did we not get... That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, how many battles we won? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we didn't get enough uh, stars. Or crowns. But man, this deck is just OP, dude. Literally OP. Fisherman Sparky. Or Fisherman Sparky right here. Uh, is so much fun to use, guys. Highly recommend giving it a try. Uh, there's so many things you can do with the fisherman, like pulling a tank or pulling a DPS or Pekka, mini Pekka away from your tank and then into the Sparky Blast. That's why I love it, dude. Also, if you go, let's, let's say you go Sparky left lane and they try and punish you by going tank right lane, you just go fisherman, pull the tank to the middle, Sparky destroys everything. And then you have a counter push. All right, guys, let's go ahead here. Finish off with a replay as we usually do. Uh, the only reason I wanted to throw in a replay, guys, I was actually thinking about doing all live battles. Oh, no, camera two. Still unplugged. Guys, let's get some F in chat for camera two. Camera two is gone. It's 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 dead. No, I'm just kidding. I haven't plugged it in yet. It's still unplugged. Um, anyways, the reason I want to show this particular replay is because it's like a cool thing that I kind of do later on with the Fisherman Sparky that um, I kind of want to showcase the... the uh, the interaction slash uh, strategy there. Otherwise, I would have I did one more live battle, but I really wanted to share this replay. So anyways, uh, I have Lightning Spell there. I was tempted to go Lightning Spell right there because obviously he had Ice Wizard and Goblin Hut. But the Goblin Hut was already basically dead because the Dark Prince connected. So there's no point to go Lightning Spell yet. So I hold off, save the Elixir. We pull the Giant closer to our tower to give our friend a little bit of an advantage. That's one downside to the, to the Fisherman you got to be careful about is if you cycle fishermen behind your king tower your opponent can be smart sometimes and for example use uh like a packet at the bridge and your fisherman could 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 potentially accidentally pull it to your tower so be careful with that um same thing with giant skeleton i think i'm gonna do a giant skeleton video here soon because everyone is using the fisherman uh, a lot of them kind of don't think about it just yet, and they accidentally pull your giant skelly to the tower with the fisherman so kind of a little cool thing to do as well uh but uh, in the end, he's got a pretty good damage lead. He's got a really annoying deck. He's got no spells in there. Goblin Hut, uh, Wizard, Witch. Just literally the most annoying deck in Clash Royale history. But right here, we get the uh, get some good damage to the tower. Bringing it down to 1300 health. And we also get Lightning Spell value right here. With the Wizard, the Goblin Hut, and the tower. However, he does have a 3 Elixir lead right now going on. But watch what happens next, guys. I absolutely love the Fisherman right now. We pull the Giant to the King Tower, activate the King Tower, destroy the Ice Wizard with the Dark Prince, and now we have King Tower activation with uh, Tower still alive. 
you can't actually pull a giant with a NATO spell. So that's one thing you can do with the fisherman that you can't do with a NATO. Pretty cool stuff. Um, anyways, gonna go Mega Minion here for the for the uh, Mini Pekka. I think we go. I think we kind of just chill. Let me spell the Tower plus the Goblin Hut. Destroy that. And I think he goes. What does he do here? He goes. Look at this right here. This is what I want to show you guys. This is the this is the moment right here. We pull the giant over to the left lane with the fisherman. Sparky turns around and destroys it. So even though we had a fisherman or, or spark in the left lane, sorry, uh, we still made made use of it with that fisherman, right? It's absolutely insane. One of my favorite things to do with the Sparky and the fisherman combination is destroying tanks and stuff like that. And um, now we just need the lightning spell right here to finish the tower off. One crown lead, and we pull out with a solid victory, guys. Uh, absolutely absurd. And uh, He's having a good old time with the emotes right there as well, but uh, yeah, pretty good battle. Anyways guys, that is the end of the video. Here is the deck one more time if you want to go ahead and try it out yourself. Uh, Goblin Giant, Fisherman Sparky is absolutely destroying right now. So many different things you can do with the Fisherman Sparky combination. A ton of fun to use. And I gotta say, I am legitimately having a blast right now with this game with the Fisherman. I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, but anyways guys, that is the end. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to more casual content. Thank you so much for watching. We shall see you in the next one.